Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's been a long night, but first and foremost, uh, <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank God, man, for this unbelievable opportunity. Uh, without him, I wouldn't be here and wouldn't be sharing this moment with you guys. So. Uh, I want to thank my unbelievable family. Uh, first, my lovely wife. Uh, she's been a true blessing for me. and. Um, so grateful for her. Uh, my lovely parents, my lovely parents has always been very consistent with me and, and always having my back. Uh, and then my little big brother, that's what I call him, because he uh, he's always looking after me and looking forward and uh, helping me out with, with different things. So I appreciate you guys, so thank you. And lastly, I want to thank Michael, um, you know, for, for him coming out here in the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and being able to do this. It's very special to me, and uh, I'm truly blessed for you to do that, and uh, I'm thankful for him as well. <laughs> I don't know how to read off a teleprompter, so I got these piece of paper right here. So, <laughs> so just bear with me as I flip through them. But uh, I'm honored and humbled to be uh, considered uh, for such an amazing accomplishment. Uh, after witnessing the divisions and the challenges of our nation uh, we have been facing over the past several months, uh, I realized this honor is not about me, uh, nor uh, it's about the people in this room. Oklahoma is, is an unbelievable community. I am so appreciative of the fact that the people of Oklahoma have been so supportive of welcoming my family and I. However, I feel there's always room to grow. I can be better, you can be better and we can be better together. I'm honored to be a part of this Hall of Fame, but I am one of few. Our state is made up of unbelievable talent individuals, and I look forward to celebrating, celebrating them no matter their race, gender, or creed. I accept this award for all the young kids who are told because of because of color of their skin, uh, where they come from, or what talents they don't have, they can somehow can achieve. I pledge to continue my work and hope to instill the importance of learning the love for, re for reading for young people through my Why Not Foundation. So this evening, I challenge each of you to join me in being productive citizens seeking to bring hope and healing to every community. Regardless of our backgrounds and our upbringing, we can work together to impact the lives of every young person in this state and across this nation. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.